So Man United are in the Europa League this year. The Europa League draw has just happened. And if you haven't seen, Man United have drawn FC Astana all the way over in Kazakhstan, Partizan Belgrade from Serbia and AZ Alkmaar from Holland. Let me know what your reaction to that is in the comments below. But Christ almighty, welcome back to the Europa League for United. Kazakhstan and Serbia. Holland, that's nice, but that's two massively long trips, especially Kazakhstan, which I think is like nine hours for United fans. Thursday night in Kazakhstan, followed by a Sunday Premier League game. It's The Europa League is what it is. There were so many. Ex I was hoping for Braga from pot two. I was hoping maybe Getafe from pot three. You know, Portugal, Spain, maybe Rangers as well. Scotland. Instead, we get Kazakhstan, Serbia and Holland. Now, that Kazakhstan game. Sorry, I'm probably not going to go to that one. That's a long way away. Serbia, Partizan Belgrade, that will be a hell of an atmosphere to experience. So I'd love to go there. And AZ Alkmaar, you know, I've been Holland, seen United play against PSV Eindhoven. But let me know what your reaction to that is. It's obviously a group that United should get out of, but it goes to show the problem with being in the Europa League. Because these are huge trips that United are going to have to do. And no doubt they're going to be around important games as well. That's what you get for not finishing in the Champions League. Ole Gunnar Solskjaer, I think, in the Champions... Sorry, not in the Champions League. Ole Gunnar Solskjaer, I think, will use younger players, fringe players, the likes of Angel Gomez, Tahith Chong, Axel Tuanzebe. It's going to be exciting to see how these kids get on in these occasions, but... Christ. Kazakhstan and Serbia. I mean, United really could have got a better draw there. Maybe it could have got a worse draw, could have been tougher teams, but... The toughness of the Europa League, pretty much the whole way through to the final, the semi-final at least, isn't really about the quality of the opposition you face. It's about the lengths of the trips that you have to take. And I think the Europa League does offer up some exciting trips, more so than the Champions League, which is sort of your generic Italy's, Spain's and Germany's. But Kazakhstan and Serbia, that's different altogether. That's game in Serbia though, in Belgrade. What an atmosphere that's going to be. Go and have a look at videos of Partizan Belgrade fans in their own stadium. They're absolutely wild. Ultras properly exist out in Serbia. So that'll be maybe a scary atmosphere, but it'll be exciting to see United play there. But the Europa League is what it is. The reason that United are in the Europa League is because we failed to finish in the top four last season. That's our own undoing. And now you've got the consequences. Chelsea used it to their advantage last year. They won the Europa League and got a place back in the Champions League. And that's the lure that the Europa League has now that it didn't have previously. And maybe Solskjaer will be focusing on that. And maybe the top four is out of United's reach this year. I don't think it is. But certainly, United have been in the Europa League once. And we won that under Mourinho. That was a great campaign. Went to Ajax. That season was Latan Ibrahimovic. Probably the best single season that we've had post-Fergie. And maybe... This season is going to be a repeat of that under Solskjaer. But he'll want to win the competition. No matter how tough the away trips are, no matter who we face, Solskjaer will be gunning for his team to win this competition. And as I said, I think he's going to put a lot of faith in the younger kids to do this. We're not going to be seeing United's first team flying out on Thursday night to Kazakhstan to play Astana to then fly back and play a Premier League game at the weekend. But... As some people have fairly said, the United squad depth isn't that good. We've shipped out plenty of players and haven't brought that many in. Now, I think that's a good thing because you won't see the likes of Smalling getting in the way of Tuanzebe. And I don't think that selling these players that we've sold is a, in any way a bad thing. But Solskjaer is putting a lot of faith this season in the kids and the youngsters coming through and taking their opportunities. And the likes of Greenwood, he'll be starting in these Europa League games. Can't wait to see. He might even start against Southampton this weekend. But Kazakhstan, I can't, I can't get over the draw that United had there. Kazakhstan, Serbia, and it was nearly Slovakia as well. But we got AZ Alkmaar. Now let me know what you think about the Europa League draw in the comments below. Do you want Solskjaer's United to really go all out to win this competition? Or is it just an inconvenience? And should we just focus on the Premier League? Let me know what you think about that in the comments below. But the draw has been made. FC Astana in Kazakhstan, Partizan Belgrade in Serbia and AZ Alkmaar in Holland. That's United's group for the Europa League this year. Let me know what you think about that in the comments. Until next time, take it easy.